Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today, with the topic subtractors. Alright, today we see subtractors. Now, by the name, it's clear that we, we do what? We do subtraction with this subtractor, alright? And just like the adders we saw previously, we have full half subtractor and a full subtractor all right so first let's say we discuss the half subtractor half subtractor all right now what does this half subtractor do it's it does subtraction within two bits all right it does subtraction within two bits so let's say we have two inputs a b so now while performing this subtraction we can have either a difference or a borrow we have two things over here so we have this difference and we have this borrow all right so the borrow is uh, let's say represented by a b output okay so now the input combinations they would be a zero zero 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. All right. Now, if you're subtracting 0, 0, so you have the borrow 0 and the difference 0. Now, if you subtract a 1 from a 0, so 0 minus a 1, so you have what? You need to take a borrow, so you have a borrow 1. Now, that would become a 2. So, 2 minus 1 is again 1, so difference is 1. Okay. Now, 1 minus 0, so the difference is 1, and the... the uh, borrow is zero in case of one minus one you have difference and borrow both zero in this case you have the difference what the diff oh i'm dropping markers today so so the difference is what the difference is the most significant bit and the borrow is the least significant bit all right in the adders video i i did what i did a mistake and i called the carry as the most significant bit, which was wrong okay in that case, in adders, in adders, we have the carry as the least significant bit and the sum as the most significant bit, all right? I've said it over there also in the next video, but I remember it again and again. So that's a big mistake I made, okay? All right, now again, solving it uh, by K-maps. So let's say first, by, by, by what? By K-maps. All right, so you can see that the difference is what? It's the old ones detector, it's the XOR operation, but still we see it with the help of K-maps, all right? So we have two inputs, so we will have this four cells map, zero, one, zero, and one. We have an A and a B, all right. Now, uh, now, now what is this? It's a zero, one one zero okay so now if you see this is for the difference so the difference is what it's this one it's a b complement and this one is what it's a complement b and you know that this is the xor operation which means a xor with b all right now now uh, this was for difference difference Now, if I do it for borrow over here, let's say for borrow. So, how would that be again a four cells map? Okay, this is zero, one, and this is zero, one. So, now you have a zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, and zero. All right. So now in this case you have only one one and the borrow is what it's a complement and it with b and in the adders we had what we have an a and it with b or here we have in the borrow is a complement and it with a b all right now we draw that the, the the circuit by which we we do what we draw do this subtraction so over here we have the XOR gate. We have a an XOR gate, which is let's say this one. 
All right, and its output directly gives you the difference, the difference D. And then for the borrow, we, we need to have what? We need to have an, an, a NOT gate and an AND gate. So let's say I have this AND gate. The final will be the AND gate. So this AND gate output will be giving you the borrow. B output, let's say to differentiate. Okay. And the inputs to, to, to this, or, this exclusive OR gate are A and B. All right. And to this uh, AND gate, we have a B. And we have an A complement. So I don't have other color. So let's see. Let's say I use the blue color. So I give it a NOT gate and I feed it here. All right. So now this over here, I have the A complement. All right. And, and that's all about the half subtractor. This is the diagram for half subtractor. The next thing we see is the full subtractor, okay? Okay, now uh, full subtractor. Now what is this full subtractor? Again, this does the, uh, the, the what, the subtraction but now it keeps into account whether previously there was a borrow or not, okay? So let's say we have, uh, we have for, for full subtractor, we have three inputs, all right? We have three inputs, A, B, and C input, let's say. And the output is a difference and the borrow output. All right, now so the three inputs, so two to the power three is equal to eight combinations. You fill them up yourselves. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. All right, now how do you do in this, like this? So in this case, you'll have to subtract in this way, A minus B minus this C input, all right? Or we don't need to represent it by an I because we don't have a C at the output, all right? Only borrow needs to be represented okay so how do you do this now zero minus zero is a zero and zero minus zero is again a zero so we have both of them zeros zero minus zero is a zero but zero minus one now we have a borrow one and now this would be a two and two minus one would be a one all right now you have a zero minus one so directly you have a borrow one so one minus one would be a zero and zero minus zero is again a zero all right 0 minus 0 is 0, okay, and then you have a borrow, so 2, yes, that's fine. And now in this case, 0 minus 1, so you need a borrow, borrow becomes 1, so this is 2 minus 1, this 1 minus 1 would be 0, 2 minus 1 would be 1, and this 1 minus 1 is now 0. Now 1 minus 0 is a 0, and 0 minus 0, uh, uh, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 0 is a 1, and 1 minus 0 is again a 1, so you have the difference 1 and the borrow 0. Now 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so you have both of them zeros. Now 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 minus 0 is 0, so you have both of them zeros. 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 minus 1, so you need to have a borrow and then this 2 minus 1 would become a 1. All right, now is that fine? All right, so if you cross check, I believe here is the mistake. Okay, you have a 0 minus 1, so you need to have a borrow. This becomes a 2, 2 minus 1 is a 1, okay, over here, and now 1 minus 0 is a 1, so this, over here I have a 1, alright, 2 minus 1 would be 1, so which means 1 bottom, now 1 minus 0 is 1, now that is fine, now this is fine, alright. So now you do what you saw by, uh, uh, by the K-map. So let's say first we have for difference. For difference. So you need to have what? You need to have the...
you need to have the three variables uh, map which is the six uh, eight cells map like this all right and you have a b c zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Zero, one only. So now you fill them for, for, for the different. You have a zero, double, one. Zero, double, one. Then you have a zero, one. Zero, one. And a zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. Now you have the checkboard configuration. And I told you that in the checkboard configuration, you have the difference equal to A, X or B, X or C. All right, so I will write it over here because then I would be needing space down the road, okay? So you have D is equal to A, X or B, X or C. All right, now if you want for the borrow, okay, so, like this again I, I think you should pause the video over here and should try it yourself and then continue with me okay zero 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 one 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 zero zero and one now for borrow you have what you have a zero triple one zero triple one and then a triple zero one all right now in this case what can I do Okay, so this borrow is, let's say, represented B, and you can combine them like this. So this is, let's say, the first group. In this case, we have B, C. We have a B, C. All right, now let's say we can combine it in this way. Well, now you have an A complement, uh, and what a, a B, B, A complement B. And now you can have it this way. So you have over here is a plus A complement C. And you can now uh, take a common as well, so the borrow output. And I'll write it over there, okay? I'll remove this. Okay. I'll remove this and we'll write the borrow over here, which is bc plus a complement is taken common and then we have b plus c all right now in the previous in the adders in the adders if you saw so we took it by by another method we joined these two and then we, we treated two one singly and then we we saw that this b or c was equivalent to b exclusive or with c all right so then we took the exclusive or over here let's say we're taking the or operator all right so now we draw the circuit the circuit what is inside the box that is carrying out this subtraction all right so you draw it with me if you know how to draw it you pause the video over here and try yourselves otherwise you do it with me okay so you have an a x or b x or c okay so, so let's say the XOR gates are represented by this black color. This is the first XOR gate. This is the second XOR gate. Now this will give you the difference. You have A at the input. And then you have Wait a minute, let me You have B at the input and you have C at the other gates input. All right, and, and this output is coming at this input also. All right, this is what? This is A, X, or B. And finally, you have an A, X, or B, X, or C, which is your difference. All right? Now, for borrow, for borrow, you have an AND gate, which is a B into C. 
all right and then you have another AND gate and finally you have an OR gate now this OR gate gives you the borrow all right so now you have a C over here you need a C over here you need a B over here okay and BC is then OR. This is given to this OR gate. All right, and then you have an A complement added with a B plus C. So you need an A complement over here. And then B plus C, so which means you need another OR gate. And let's say I draw it in this way. All right, so is that fine? You have a B OR with C. So this is your B. And over here you have your C. Okay, now this is the final diagram for what? We have a total number of one, two, three, four, five, six gates. But by over here I made a mistake. Here we have what? Here we have an A complement required. So we, or, or, or let me try it over here. So we need to give this to a NOT gate first also. All right, and now finally, this is given to what? To this gate. So this is the diagram for it. All right, so let us cross check. We have different A X or B X or C. That's correctly. Then we have borrow equal to B C. We have a B and a C. All right, or with an A complement times B plus C, and this is fine. So if you want me to write over here, so we have. Over here we have an A complement and it with a B plus C, all right? Over here we have a B plus C, over here we have an A complement, over here we have a B, C, and that's all, okay? So that's all about the full subtractors and all about subtractors. So I hope that's clear and see you. And I also hope that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel as well. So that's all for today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.